Welcome to 24-7 Science. Today we'll learn to determine the independent and dependent variable using experiments from the Mythbusters. First, let's get some terms clear. There are two main types of variables in an experiment, the independent variable and the dependent variable. The independent variable is the difference between the control and experimental groups of an experiment. The independent variable is the variable changed by the scientists to test the experiment's hypothesis. The dependent variable is the thing being measured during an experiment, also called data. Now let's break down some MythBuster experiments. Experiment 1. Does adding dimples to a car increase its gas mileage? Since dimples on a golf ball are designed to help a golf ball cut through the air when hit, the MythBusters decided to apply this logic to a car's shape in hopes that it might increase the gas mileage. Click on the link above to watch the MythBuster experiment. Come back after to test your knowledge. So which of the following was the independent variable of their dimple car experiment? The dimple car, the normal car with clay, or whether the car had dimples or not. Remember, the independent variable is the difference between the experimental and control groups. The correct answer is C whether the car had dimples or not because that's the difference between the two groups in their experiment. Okay, can you identify the dependent variable in the dimple car experiment? Was it the number of dimples in the car? The gas mileage of the car? Or the speed the cars were driven at? Remember, the dependent variable is the data collected from the experiment. Okay, the correct answer is B the gas mileage because it was thought that the gas mileage would depend on whether the car had dimples in it or not. Okay, let's go to another experiment. For this experiment, the Mythbusters tested to see if elephants are afraid of mice. So the Mythbusters set up an experiment where a mouse was placed under a cup of elephant dung. When an elephant walks by, the dung is tipped over and the mouse is set free. They repeated their experiment with a no mouse dung control that was tipped over when the elephants walked by as well. Click on the link above to watch the MythBuster experiment. Come back after to test your knowledge. Okay, can you identify the independent variable of their experiment? Was it whether or not there was a mouse under the dung? The dung that had the mouse hiding under it? Or the elephant's reaction during the experiment? The correct answer is A, because whether or not the mouse was present under the dung was the difference between the experimental groups. What about this experiment's dependent variable? Was it the number of times the experiment was repeated, the elephant's reaction during the experiment, or the number of elephants scared by the mice? The correct answer is B, because it is the reaction of the elephant that was being measured each time the experiment was carried out. Let's go to experiment three. Can a rock thrown from a lawnmower have the same force as a bullet shot from a gun? Anyone that's mowed a lawn is aware that a rock and other material can be shot with a lot of energy from a running lawnmower. It has been said that rocks shot from a lawnmower can have a force equal to a bullet shot from a gun. So the Mythbusters actually set up an experiment to determine if a rock shot from a lawnmower can have the same energy as a bullet shot from a gun. Click on the link and come back to take the quiz. Now which of the following is the independent variable of this experiment? The measured force of the bullet and the rock? The object being tested? Or the air gun rock group? The correct answer is B because B explains the difference between the experimental and control groups. Now try the dependent variable. Is it the angle the rig arm went up, the distance the object was shot, or the force created by the object? The correct answer is A, the angle the rig arm went up because it depended on whether a rock or a bullet was hitting it. Okay, one last experiment. Is it worth running in the rain? Standard logic says that if a person runs for shelter from the rain, they will get out of the rain faster and therefore stay drier. But is this logic supported by science? The Mythbusters decided to test this idea by having Adam and Jamie walk and run through a rainstorm. 
They then measured the weight of the rain that was captured by their clothing. Click on the leak to watch it and come back for the quiz. So can you identify the independent variable? Was it the person running through the rain? The speed of movement through the rain? Or the amount of rain collected on their clothing? The correct answer was B, the speed they moved, because that was the difference between the groups. And what about their dependent variable? Was it the mass of rain on their clothes, the time it took to move through the rain course, or the amount of rain that was falling during the experiments? The correct answer was A, the mass of the rain, because it depended on whether they were walking or running through the rain course. Thanks to the Mythbusters for supporting the world's understanding of science and logical thinking. Thanks for watching. Please leave your questions, feedback, and topics for future scientific videos in the comments below. And please subscribe for notification of future 24-7 science videos.